this uh, toggle button now you can see that all of the exhaust fan started working you can see that temperature right now temperature right now 23.6 degrees celsius now it will become 23.5 degrees celsius let me show you inside exhaust fan is also working you can see that this exhaust fan is also working right now just see the temperature 22 degrees celsius temperature so temperature is decreasing you can see that Great. So today we are going to uh, study the project advanced cold and hot storage using Pelter plate with solar panel. So Pelter plate is new technology to creating hot and cold effect. And we are also going to use solar panel to charge the battery bank. So this is our project. This side also. So friends, this is our project. So now let me explain some component of the project, then I'll show you the working as well. So this is the battery bank. So basically we are using four chargeable battery. So we are using four chargeable battery uh, so that it can provide the power supply to the system. So although one battery is also of high current, this is of 2.5 ampere current, uh, but still we are using four battery. You know why? Because we are using multiple pelletry plate. This project is creating hot as well as cold effect. So for that thing, we need multiple batteries. So that's why we have used these four batteries. These are the chargeable battery, uh, which you can charge through solar panel as well. So this is the solar panel which we are using. So this solar panel will charge the battery. Now you can see that this indicator is a little bit on. Actually, this indicator is showing that uh, the light is falling on the solar panel. So this is the battery bank. Then these are the two high power toggles. So these two high power toggles we are using for the hot and cold effect. Simultaneously you don't have to use both of them together. But uh, let's say you want cold effect so you will own this toggle button. So this toggle button will own uh, this uh, pelt plate of uh, that dimension which is going to create the cold effect. So this is cold button and this is hot button. You don't have to use both of them simultaneously because they will compensate the effect of hotness and coldness and they are going to waste the energy of the battery. So either you will show the cold effect or you will show the hot effect, right? As it is written, this toggle is for the hot effect and this toggle is for the cold effect, right? Now this is the temperature sensor. Right now temperature inside the chamber is uh, 23.5 degree Celsius, okay? Now if I talk about uh, uh, these two points, so these are the manual charging point as the power consumption of the project is very heavy because we are using multiple pelter plates so that's why uh, this small solar panel is not enough although uh, to show the working uh, it is enough this solar panel this is also producing 18 volt right but still uh, if you want to charge the battery very fast then you need manual charging point so these are the manual charging point through this these two points you can charge all of these four battery together now if i talk about the charger so we are using charger in the end of the video i'm going to show you which type of charger i am using and this is uh, the cable which is uh, taking the energy of solar panel to the batteries using rectifier and this is the indicator now you can see that this indicator is on why because the light is falling on the solar panel now let me show you a experiment as soon as i'll cover the solar panel with my hand then this indicator is off you can see that why because uh, the the light falling on the solar panel is blocked by my hands you can see that now as soon as i'll remove my hands from the solar panel then this indicator is on why because light is falling on the solar panel and battery is getting charged right so this is all about solar charging now let me explain you hot and cold uh, storage effect so like this is the heat sink this is very long heat sink so heat will be live in the environment using this heat sink and we are using three fans so that they can throw the heat in the environment and the cold effect will go inside so these pelter plates is for the cold effect and if i talk about on this side these pelter plate is for the hot effect so now this pelter plate the pelter plate we are using inside will generate hot effect inside the chamber and cold environment will be thrown out of the uh, this heat sink and there is a fan as well over here right now if i show you uh, like these are the wiring these are the wiring for the pelter plates and the exhaust fans right uh, similarly in this side these are the wiring uh, for the pelter plate and the uh, exhaust fans 
so for the uh, hot effect i am using four exhaust fan three exhaust fan for the outside and one exhaust fan inside but if i talk about for the uh, hot effect i am using two exhaust fan one exhaust fan this and one exhaust fan inside let me show you inside now you can see that this is the uh, exhaust fan which will throw the cold environment and this this is the exhaust fan which will throw the hot environment individually i am going to show working of both of them now let me show you the working so first of all we will see the cold effect so to, to see the cold effect i'll on this uh, toggle, uh, toggle button. button now you can see that all of the exhaust fans started working you can see that temperature right now temperature right now 23.6 degrees celsius now it will become 23.5 degrees celsius let me show you inside exhaust fan is also working you can see that this exhaust fan is also working right now just see the temperature 22 degrees celsius temperature so temperature is decreasing you can see that 20.3 degrees celsius so you can see that how fast the temperature is decreasing so this is the beauty of filter plate 19.2 degrees celsius so from 25 degrees celsius to 19.2 degrees celsius in a short span of time so this is the beauty of pelter plate now 18.6 degrees celsius the temperature inside the chamber so this is all done through the temperature sensor we have installed inside the chamber now temperature 18.6 degrees celsius 18.2 degrees celsius so these are the battery getting consumed right you can see that the toggle of uh, cold effect we have on right now right now temperature 18.2 degrees celsius so now you can see that uh, we are going to see the hot effect so right now temperature is uh, 25 point something so i'm going to now you can see that this fan is on so this is uh, throwing cold environment outside and hot environment inside so right now temperature inside the chamber is going to increase now you can see that uh, temperature become 25 to 26 then 27.5 now temperature will keep on increasing why because we have on the toggle of hot now temperature become 27.5 degrees celsius 28.1 degrees celsius the battery is also getting consumed right uh, we are using multiple pelletier plate for each effect Twenty-eight point nine degrees Celsius. So temperature will keep on uh, increasing as we leave it for a little bit for longer time. But the disadvantage of filter plate is that they consume very high power. Now temperature become twenty-nine point three degrees Celsius. You can see that, and inside as well you can see that uh, this fan is working. It is throwing hot air. This fan is working. This is throwing hot air inside the chamber. Now 29.9 degrees Celsius. Temperature will keep on increasing as we leave it for longer period of time. 30.2 degrees Celsius. Thirty point four degrees Celsius. So you can see that from 25 to uh, it become 30.4 degrees celsius in a short span of time and this is the beauty of pelter plate now temperature become 30.7 degrees celsius the longer period of time the power supply will be on it will keep on increasing the temperature now temperature become 30.9 degrees celsius now to charge the battery you have to use these two point right i am going to show you now the charger as well now you can see that temperature is 31.1 degrees celsius so uh, this is the charger we are using so these are the two point manual point you can you can put uh, over here uh, this point to over here red wall red wire and this point over here minus wire okay so through these two point don't let them touch each other because it will sort the power supply uh, so now battery will get charging now you can see that indicator is also on so battery is also getting charged okay so this is all about uh, uh, this project 
now the more complex uh, thing in this project is how you can fit the pelter plate inside uh, this system so the configuration of pelter plate is very complex so i'm going to show you that thing in another video because otherwise video will be too long now you can see that temperature become 32 degrees celsius 32 degrees celsius is the temperature and uh, this fan is working this is throwing very cold air very cold air is coming so if i touch it so cold air is coming and because uh, because of hot air is going inside and cold air is coming out right temperature become 32.3 degrees celsius so in the similar way temperature will keep on increasing right you can charge once these battery will get discharged so you can charge these battery if you want to off it then off written over here this is off and this is on on in this direction off in this direction this is for the cold effect this is for the hot effect right so this is all about this uh, project now the only thing left to explain for this project is uh, how you can fit pelter plate inside two heat sink and how you can make a arrangement so that they can transfer cold effect and hot effect according to our requirement right so i'm going to show you that thing in another video but this project is complete thank you so much for watching this video i hope you like it bye bye till the next time